Hello and welcome to Kennel.ai YouTube channel. Today we will be talking about everything you need to know about your dog's penis. Every part of your dog's body can be injured or affected by a disease, and this includes a dog's penis. Problems affecting the penis are uncomfortable and may be a sign of a potentially serious health condition. In order to recognize when something is wrong with your dog's penis, you need to know what normal looks like. Most of the time, what you see on the outside of a dog's penis is actually the prepuce or sheath, the skin, and other tissues that surround the non-erect penis. The penis itself is covered with a membrane, which gives it a bright pink or red coloration. The dog penis is rigid even when not erect due to the presence of a bone called the OS penis. And actually the penis gets erect when the male has penetrated the female. The bone helps the male penetrate the female even without erection. Two glands called the bulbous glandis are located on either side of the base of the penis. Usually, when a dog penetrates the female the bulbous glandis swell with blood creating two readily visible bumps. This is what causes the dogs to lock. A dog's erection may last for just a few minutes or up to an hour or so. Knowing when your dog's penis is infected. Some dogs produce a surprising amount of smegma, and they will often lick their penis to remove it. Drainage from the prepuce and excessive licking is a common symptom of infections of the penis and or sheath. So observe your male dogs very well. If your dog is licking more than he typically does, seems listless or otherwise ill, or his discharge has increased in quantity or changed in color, make an appointment with your vet. Why dogs lick their penis? A dog will lick his penis to help keep it clean, and probably also just because it feels good. Some dogs will lick or self-stimulate in other ways to the point where they get erections. And of course, there is a theory that animals masturbate. It is best to simply ignore this behavior unless it becomes excessive. If you also notice changes in the appearance of your dog's penis or overall health then you contact your vet. Excessive licking, especially when it is associated with other symptoms like increased drainage, pain, or lethargy, can be a sign of infection, injuries, or other problems with your dog's urinary or reproductive tract. Does blood come out from your dog's penis? Blood may be seen coming from a dog's penis as a result of wounds to the penis or prepuce, conditions affecting the urinary tract, infections, tumors, bladder stones, etc blood clotting disorders, and diseases of the prostate gland. Any dog who has blood coming from his penis should be evaluated by a vet. Why do dogs' penis sticks out? Dogs will get occasional erections, even if they are neutered. If your dog's penis becomes erect and visible for a period of time but then returns to being fully enclosed within the prepuce, and all else seems to be normal, you probably don't have anything to worry. About. That said, Dogs will sometimes have persistent erections or not be able to retract the penis back into the prepuce due to hair that encircles the penis, neurologic problems, prostate disease, or anatomical abnormalities. If the penis is discolored or the normally moist tissues that cover it are becoming dry, take your dog in to see a vet immediately plz. Difficulties with urination and permanent damage to the penis can occur in these cases without rapid treatment. Is your dog's penis swollen? A dog's penis will become swollen during a normal erection. The enlargement of the bulbous glandis is especially obvious since it causes sizable bumps to form on either side of the base of the penis. As long as a dog's swollen penis returns to its normal size within an hour or so and the dog seems to feel fine otherwise, no vet treatment is usually necessary. But, if your dog's penis remains enlarged for an extended period of time, or if you notice any other worrisome symptoms like lethargy, poor appetite, discomfort, or abnormal discharge from the prepuce, you should call your vet for advice. After mating always supervise that the penis goes inside back. When your male is mating with a female and they get locked it is very important to make sure the bitch is not tensed and trying to force her way out. You should be able to calm down the bitch and let her relax until the erecting reduces and the male is able to free from her. If she struggles too much it is covered for the male's penis to get ruptured. Furthermore, problems like infections, injuries, and tumors can also make a dog's penis appear to be swollen. Is the color normal? 
A dog's non-erect penis is normally enclosed by his prepuce, which is covered by skin and hair that looks similar to that found elsewhere on his body. When visible, the penis itself is usually pink or red but can become a darker purple during an erection. The color should return to normal after the erection is over. A small amount of yellow-white or slightly green-tinged discharge from the end of the prepuce is also normal. If you notice changes to the coloration of your dog's prepuce, penis, or prepucial discharge, make an appointment with your vet ASAP. What is the discharge coming out from your dog's penis? A small amount of yellow-white or slightly green-tinged discharge from the end of your dog's prepuce is usually normal. However, other types of discharge or discharge that come directly from the penis itself is often associated with a health problem. Dogs with bloody or pus-like discharge from the penis or prepuce should be seen by a vet PLZ. Is there a rash on your dog's penis? The skin-covered prepuce that surrounds a dog's penis can develop rashes just like any other area of the body. Because the prepuce touches the ground whenever a dog sits or lies down, it frequently comes in contact with irritants, allergens, and insects that may bite. Parasites or skin infections can also cause rashes on a dog's prepuce. A bath using cool water and a gentle soap might help if your dog's rash developed due to contact with an allergen or irritant. Rashes that are severe, produce significant discomfort, or persist for more than a day or two should be evaluated by a vet. There are creams you can also use. Is there a lump, growths or bump on your dog's penis? It is normal for lumps to form on either side of the base of a dog's penis during an erection. These should disappear when the erection ends. Other lumps, bumps, or growths that persist on or around a dog's penis are not normal and may be associated with injuries, infections, the presence of foreign material within the prepuce, inflammation, cysts, or tumors. Make an appointment with your vet. Please feel free to leave a comment about your thoughts below. Also take a moment to help us by subscribing to our channel. You can also visit our website on www.kennel.ai forward slash register. Thanks for watching.